I had a rider not too long ago. I picked him up early hours of the morning. And he was saying how he didn't want to stay in England as long as he had. He originally came over, he's been here for 17 years. And then when he originally came over, he was only meant to do six months with his girlfriend at that time. Now, his girlfriend was in a band and playing music. So he's coming over to support her. But when they got here, he she turned around and said, Oh, yeah, by the way, I know we've been dating for years, but I've got two boyfriends here. <laughs> two boyfriends here in England. And I need you to say that you're just my cousin. Just go along with it so we can still stay in the same room, etc., etc." So he said, oh, I'm not that kind of person. And he threw a wobbly and went about his business. She said, well, if you don't want it, good. if you don't want to be with me, then good luck to you. So he stormed out the house. When he came back to get his clothes, she had set them all on fire. So he said it was lucky he had his passport with him. Now, it was wintertime and he's from a hot country. So he didn't have anywhere to go, but he's not staying in the house with the woman. So he went and slept in a park in Regent's Park. He managed to bump into some people who was from his country. They sorted out him a job on a building site. And this was in the 90s, keep in mind. And so he started to work cash in hand on the building site. During the, that week, he met somebody new. He'd gone out with the guys. He met this girl. And the girl decided, well, why don't you come and stay with me? He thought, well, he can't really do better for himself right now. So he did. As the six months were coming to the end... He, he said to the girl, listen, I was only meant to be here for six months. My visa is going to run out. I need to go home. She said, no, don't go home. Marry me. You know, everything's going so perfect with our relationship. So anyway, he, he said, that, that's not really going to happen. I've got to go home. So he phoned his father and spoke to his cousin. And they both said to him, what are you still, what are you talking about? Why are you talking about coming back here? You're in England, you've got world as your oyster now, stay there. Fair enough. So he stayed there. Anyway, the girl said she couldn't have children. But later on, she had a child, she got pregnant and they had a child together. He was a bit disappointed, like, I thought you said you weren't. But anyway, such is life. A couple of years later, they're having a lover's quarrel. She tells him, just F off and get out. He's saying, listen, don't talk to me like that. If you talk to me like that, I'll leave. If you've got a problem in our relationship, just be respectful. I don't care. Just get lost. So he decides he's going to get a bin bag from the kitchen. He puts all his clothes in, puts it over his shoulder, and off he goes. As he's going, she's going, get lost. I don't care. Well, that kind of thing. Next day he's at work. Who turns up? His ex-girlfriend. Now, <laughs> she's saying, come home. No, you know, I didn't mean it. She's trying to talk to his colleague. He said, no. If you treat me like that and want to get rid of me so easily, that means you're not really, there's no real love. Time goes on, he finds a new partner. The new partner now, he's getting on well with her, everything's great. They go to their family, to her family's house. When they're in the family's house, he sees a picture of his daughter's mum on the, um, in the profile. I said, who, who's she? Oh, that's my cousin. So he's gone... Don't tell her, let me tell her, let me tell her what the situation is. So I said to him, what did you learn from all this experience? He said, well, the first girlfriend that I came over to England with tried to stab me on two different occasions when back in my country. And obviously those things are red flags, but when you're young, you don't pay attention to red flags. So what I've learned is basically always pay attention to red flags and people learn from pain and suffering. 